Stan Jabalisco here to uh, outline for you or show you another application for Zener diodes and that is the regulation of voltage in a very low current circuit. Here is the basic schematic diagram from my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. You can get that book by the way on Amazon and I will provide a link to it or to its Amazon page in the description of this video. But here's the basic circuit. You have a DC input right here that's unregulated. You run it through a current limiting resistor to protect, uh, protect the Zener diode against overcurrent. And then you have your Zener diode basically right here. Now you might have, oh it's, uh, let's just say you have 6 volts at the input, let's just say you want to regulate that down to 3.6 volts. Then you put a 3.6 volt Zener diode right there. Now notice the polarity of this diode. It's reversed from what you'd expect with an ordinary semiconductor diode. Electrons can flow against the arrow relatively easily, but if you try to make electrons flow with the arrow, they have difficulty until the voltage reaches 3.6 volts. Well, the negative terminal here is down at the bottom, so electrons would tend to want to flow through this diode from the bottom to the top, or from the lower wire to the upper wire, and that is what would limit at 3.6 uh, volts. As for uh, the other direction, electrons trying to flow this way, uh, you are going to have the problem of this being a positive polarity and this being a negative polarity, so you're not going to even have that issue. There's going to be no issue with that kind of uh, conduction. It is, in effect, a rectifier co uh, diode uh, connected just backwards from what you would expect you'd want to do with a rectifier diode. So notice that the cathode of a Zener diode generally goes to the positive polarity and the anode to the negative polarity so you are reverse biasing this thing and it comes out of here regulated to 3.6 volts because any voltage greater than 3.6 volts that tries to get here is going to get clamped or limited by this diode. Again, if you don't have that current limiting resistor there, you're going to have some very, very hard trouble with this diode when it begins to conduct. It'll probably burn out and that's why they use those resistors uh, in circuits like that. Unfortunately, that limits the effectiveness of this type of circuit for voltage limiting, but there are ways to get around that. This is just the basic description of how a Zener diode can work in a power supply as a voltage regulator. Stan Jabalisco signing off from somewhere deep in the nether reaches of outer space, where his mind always resides, his body not always, but it sure feels that way today. Until next time, so long.